Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you several different ways that you can insert multiple images into Word and once you have inserted them, how to move them and customize them. So the quickest way to do this is just simply open up the file that you want. So let's say that I wanted all of these pictures from this file. If I just click and drag across all of the images and then click and drag them, you can see there's now a plus sign and then drop them. Now you can see all the images have been inserted and they're close together and they're the way Word would want to insert them. But obviously this is not the way that you may want them to be inserted. If you want them to be inserted perfectly every time, I have got a video on how you can do that in the description below. But let's say for example you wanted to move this photo or you wanted to crop it or resize it. You can see if I pull this away or I resize it, I can resize it but I can't move it. So to do that, select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And you can see now I can move the image, but other images remain the same. So what you'll need to do is click on each image, click on wrap text in front of text, and again, resize. And you have to go ahead and do that to all of the images. And then I'll come back and show you how to crop them. Okay, so now you have all of your images, you can go ahead and resize them, particularly if you want them all on the same page. Now, if you want to crop any of these images, particularly if you want them the same size, just select one of the images, go to picture format and go to crop and click on the drop down. Here you can select from several options. You can select your aspect ratio. So let's say for example, you wanted them all to be square. You can click on this selection here. If you want them to all be portrait, you can click on any of these ratios and landscaped to do exactly the same. So let's say we wanted them all one by one. You just simply click, move the photograph left and right. Once you're happy, just press enter, and then you can move your photo down. Once you've done that to all your photographs, you can make sure they're the same size by selecting them. Going up to the height and width, you can see they're both the same size. Make sure this checkbox is ticked. Let's say we want them at five centimeters, just click five, press enter, the lower one will change and you have an image of five centimeters. Then if you crop this one, select the crop, aspect ratio one to one, click when you're happy. Then once it's selected, go back up to five, click five, press enter, and you can see that all your images will be exactly the same size. Now, another way to insert the images is to go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down, select picture from file, find your files, click on the top one, hold your shift key down, click on the bottom one and simply click insert. Once you've done that, that you'll have the exact same result as we did when we drag and dropped each image in. So I'll just go ahead and crop all these images and come back at the end and tell you how you can export them. So once you've got all your images sorted, you can then go ahead and align them. So you can have them so they are four and four. So what you need to do is make these two perfectly lined up. So hold down the command or control key and select the two top ones. Select align, align to top. Do the same here, holding down the command or control key, align, align to bottom. And now this top one and bottom one is perfectly lined up. So what Word will do now is make sure this is equally spaced. So let's select them all again, align, distribute vertically. That will create an equal spacing and align to center. Do exactly the same with this line here. Whoops, I just moved that. So let's go back one. Go to align, align to center, align, distribute vertically. And now all of those will be perfectly lined up. If you want them all lined up to the center, select all of the boxes, go to group, select group, and then go to position, and then simply select center. Once your images are all grouped together, the great thing about this is you can resize them all at once, but if you want to maintain their ratio, 
you must click but then hold down your shift key then you can resize your images to any size you want and then obviously move them around to wherever you want in your document. If you want these images to be amongst text, let's just insert some text. You can see at the moment that these images are on top of the text. So if you want them in the middle of the text or the text to wrap around it, let's just reduce the size of it for a second. Go back up to shape format or picture format, doesn't matter. Go to wrap text and then you've got a couple of options here. You can have the text at the top and bottom and this is what it will look like. Or you can have the text tight, which means the text will go around it. You can see how that how the images appear sometimes through the middle, like this bit here. But that's only occurring because you've got multiple images. If you've only got one image, obviously this won't happen. Then go to wrap text. You can go down to square. That will allow that text to always be kept to the side. And finally, you can go behind the text where you can have images showing through behind the text. So let's go to square. And as you can see, you can move this around any way you like for your images to fit. But you can see that the text is very close to your images. To adjust that, go to wrap text, go to more layout options. And down the bottom here, it says distance from text. So here we can put one centimeter and then change them all to one centimeter, left, right, top and bottom. Click OK. And now when I move it, you can see there's a much bigger margin around the edges in order to give those images a bit more space. So if I move those over to the side, then you can see now I've got a nice space around my images. Now you can export these all as just a picture without this white background if you want to. Click on it, right click, go to save as picture, make sure it's on PNG, change the file name and then click save. That will save out all of these images without this white background and you can use it then for anything whether it be a website or an email. If you want to save it as a PDF just simply go to file, save as, click on the bottom here, save as PDF, rename the document and click export. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.